In the last video, we finished question number, I gotta tell you, I don't remember the number, number 16, which was our tree diagram. Let's go ahead and go to our, oh goodness, I don't know where this is at. Let's try to go to the right and see if we can find it. There we go. Number 17, our practice Venn diagram. A class of 32 students are asked if they like any of the following three types of movies. So any one of them, or all of them, or two of them, or none of them. They could have picked any possible combination. The following, yeah, drama, anime, and horror. The following results are found. Here's our results table, class. And the first question is, label and fill in the Venn diagram below with the results of the classroom. All right, I'm going to go through the steps as they're outlined in your notes or actually on your Venn diagram worksheet. Step number one, label the circles with your categories. It's been done for you already. And then we're supposed to write in the number of students that fall into each of those circles. So for drama, we've got 19. For anime, We've got 17, and for horror, we've got 6. So find the categories where the students just show, it's just counting the number of students that like that one thing, drama, anime, and horror, write those numbers down. Next step, now in your notes, I did it a little bit different in your homework, the next step was write the number of all the com combined categories on the outside between the two circles. So in this case, let's take a look. We've got 10 students that like both drama and anime. So 10 students like drama and anime. Here's our two circles, drama and anime. I'm going to put a 10 right here. This will not be part of our final answers, but it's going to help me calculate the answers inside the circles. Three students like both drama and horror. So three like drama and horror and two like anime and horror, like both of those. The next step was to write down the category including all three movies in the middle of our Venn diagram where all three circles overlap. We got one student that likes all three types of movies. I'm going to put that one person in there. Step number four was to fill in these overlap sections, the ones that kind of look like the leaves on a flower, you're going to fill in those overlaps because, for example, let's take a look at the first one. If we know three people like drama and horror, one of those people also like anime. So that's already been counted. That person's already been counted. So three minus one is two. These two sections class have to add up to the green three. Same thing here. Two minus one is one. These two ones have to add to this two. And ten minus one is nine. There's our overlap sections. The next step was to figure out how many students are left in these circles. Which ones have not been counted yet? So in this case, take a look. We have 19 people who liked drama. 9, 10, 11, 12 of those have already been counted because they like other things as well. So 19 minus 12, we got 7 left in that circle. 6 people like horror. 2, Three, four of those have already been counted, so two are left in this circle. Notice now the whole circle adds up to six. This whole circle adds up to 19. And then our last one is anime. 17 people liked anime. 9, 10, 11 were already accounted for. 17 minus 11 is six. There are six left in that circle. All right, the next step is to figure out how many students didn't like any of them. How many students didn't check a box? They just said, you know what, don't like any of those movies, so I'm not going to respond. 32 students, let's see if every one of them responded or not. So the way we do that is, we just add up all the numbers inside the circle class. Inside the circles, not outside. Inside the circle. So, here's my first one. 7, 2, 1, 9. Those are in drama. So, 7, 2, 1, 9. So 7, 2, 1, 9. I've got a 2 that hasn't been counted, a 1, and a 6. 2, 1, and 6. Those are all the numbers represented inside of the circles. Notice I don't count the 
numbers under the titles anymore and I don't look at the numbers outside the circles. Those are just references to help me figure out the, the numbers inside of the circles. When I add those up, 7, 2, 1, 9, 2, 1, 6, add those up, you're going to get 28. But we had 32 students surveyed. That means four of them never responded or did not, they said they didn't like any of them or didn't pick any of them. That means four students are in the none category. Didn't pick a movie. All right, let's do our probabilities. First one's not a probability question. How many students like drama, but not either of the other two types of movies? So they're going to like drama, but they don't like anime and they don't like horror. If you look at your circles, all the students inside this circle like drama, but these students also like horror. These students also like horror and anime. These students also like anime. So this number seven, this is the only number that represents students who only like drama. So that question's pretty easy. Seven. Let's put that in red. All right. If you, letter C, if you select a student at random from 32 total students, what is the probability they will like horror or drama? So either one of those is good. If any student likes one or the other or both of those, that will make me happy with my probability. Let's take a look at our table. Horror or drama? Well, these students like horror, so do these, these, these. Everybody inside this circle likes horror movies. These people like drama. And these people like drama. So all of these numbers in the top two circles, they either like drama or horror or both. Now I know that these students also like anime, but it doesn't matter. The question is asking, pick all the students who like horror or drama. So it's going to be all the numbers in those top circles. So let's write them down here. We got 7, 2, 1, 9. That covers the drama circle. 7 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9. 7, 2, 1, 9. Then we got 2 and 1. Those are in the horror. So 2 and 1. Oh, you know what? Oh, I got it right. Sorry, horror or drama? I should have added these first. It makes no difference. I'll pick up the horror ones now. 2 and 1. Plus 2 plus 1. Let's check it again one more time. We want horror or drama. Either one is good. Everybody in this circle likes drama. Everybody in this circle likes horror. These are my overlaps, so I only want to count those one time. So 7, 2, 1, 9, 2, and 1. So the only number we're not picking is 6, because those people only like anime. And these people don't matter because they don't like either one of those. Let's go ahead and add these up. We will end up with 22. So our probability is 22 things make us happy over 32 total students. That's 0 0.688 or 68.8 percent. Pretty good probability. Pretty good probability because the only people who aren't included in this category are the six people who only like anime and the four people who haven't responded. So if I randomly pick a student from this group, I have a better chance than not of selecting a student who likes one of those two type of movies because we're above 50 percent. All right, last one. If you select a student at random from the 32 total students, what's the probability they would like drama and anime? They have to like both of them. Let's take a look. Drama and anime. Well, these nine students like drama and anime and nothing else. This one student likes drama, anime, and horror. That counts because we're just being asked what is the probability they will like drama and anime? If I pick a random student out of there, then these nine people will make me happy, and this one person will also make me happy, but only these two, because they're the only people in our groups that like both drama and anime. So we've got 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. That means our probability, 10 things make us happy over 32 total things. And that's 0 0.313 or 31.3%.
percent. And that is the end of the review sheets. Hopefully you have learned as I've explained these and it's helping you to be better prepared for the test.